بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نجدد الترحيب بكم إخواني الأعزاء في مطلع الوحدة الثامنة uh, eat in or out we have uh, headlines uh, to be checked uh, countable and uncountable nouns the use of some and any as expressions of quantity uh, the use of I like and I'd like to show preference uh, requests and uh, offers uh, how many and how much uh, to ask about uh, quantities and numbers uh, also food and a drink and shopping in the high street in this page as you uh, can see here we have uh, many types of uh, pastry, uh, fruits, uh, vegetables, drinks and uh, we have uh, two lists here uh, and uh, they are classified uh, into uh, countables and uncountable sorry countable and uncountable nouns so uh, let's check uh, tape script and listen to these uh, types of uh, countable and uncountable nouns and to uh, check the pronunciation of these uh, types of uh, foods and drinks unit 8 tape script 8.1 starter list a So we have to classify these uh, types of uh, food and drinks into two types according to uh, its type uh, into uh, countable and uncountable nouns. And uh, list A, uncountable noun, as you can see. Uh, and in uh, list B, we have all the countable nouns. إخوان الأعزاء الأسماء المعدودة والأسماء الغير معدودة المعدود هو ما يمكن عده وحسابه أما الغير معدود هو نقدر نقول الكميات أو المساحيق أو السوائل هاي كلها تعتبر غير معدود أي لا يمكن عده وحسابه إلا بعد وضعه في أكياس أو في زجاج أو بعد التحجيم وال بالنسبة للاسم المعدود غالبا ما ينتهي بأس إذا انتبه هنا الأسماء المعدودة هي الأسماء التي تجمع بإضافة أس إضافة إلى الأسماء الشابة So you should classify these according to this page You have to classify these types of nouns into two uh, groups A the uncountable nouns and B the countable nouns and uh, you should check and uh, uh, put these uh, according to this uh, these pictures uh, into the uh, word in this list so 
which list A or B has plural nouns as we said uh, the list B because it's uh, uh, countable nouns countable nouns sorry so uh, complete these sentences with is or are so what's the purpose of uh, this activity or this uh, task by putting the auxiliary verb is or are in these uh, blanks uh, the uncountable noun will use always will uh, be followed by uh, uh, the auxiliary verb in the singular in the singular uh, case and the uh, countable nouns will be uh, plural so it uh, will be followed by are so broccoli tomatoes apple juice and apples so you should uh, fill these blanks according to uh, this note uh, also we have uh, in the next page on the same topic on the same topic sorry uh, about the countable and uncountable nouns and uh, the use of uh, the expressions of a quantity some any and a lot of uh, so you should listen to this tape script first then we'll discuss uh, the use of these uh, expressions of a quantity so let's listen, please. Tape script 8.2. Who's a fussy eater? Oh, good. We have some tomatoes. Uh, sorry, Nick. I don't like them. Come on, Duncan. Tomatoes are good for you. I didn't like them much when I was a child, but I love them now. Hmm. I didn't like a lot of things when I was a kid. Ah, you were a fussy eater. What didn't you like? I didn't like any green vegetables. Did you like any vegetables at all? Only potatoes. I love chips. <laughs> what about fruit? Did you like fruit? I liked some fruit, but not all. I didn't like bananas. I liked fruit juice. I drank a lot of apple juice. And now you drink beer and wine. Yeah. And coffee. But I didn't like coffee or tea when I was a kid. So, what were your favourite foods? I liked ice cream, chocolate, crisps, biscuits, especially chocolate biscuits. Uh, you know, I liked all the usual things kids like. All the unhealthy things. I liked pasta too. Pasta with tomato sauce. Oh, I love that. Tomato sauce? But you don't like tomatoes. Tomato sauce is different. Uh, let's not eat in tonight. Let's go out to Romano's. Romano's, a great idea. It's my favorite Italian restaurant. So on this uh, task and uh, according to this uh, conversation, we have two students uh, talking about the preference for food and drinks. Uh, Duncan prefers uh, uh, some uh, drinks and uh, food and uh, Nick also uh, prefers, uh, prefers uh, some uh, food and drink. So according to this conversation you have to listen to their conversation and uh, answer these questions and also you can make a question by asking your partner about what he prefers uh, and uh, what about the uh, foods and drinks that he uh, like and he didn't like. Also, uh, according to this conversation, uh, uh, they show us the use of like and uh, like, would like, according to uh, their conversation. And we'll uh, check uh, this you, uh, this uh, expressions, these expressions. Sorry, when we reach to uh, these tasks. Uh, so you have to listen to this conversation and uh, check the answers for these uh, questions. Also we have uh, tape script in exercise number 2, tape script 8.2. Listen again and complete the lines. Uh, you have to uh, also listen to the same conversation and uh, you have to fill these blanks 
with the suitable expressions of the quantity. So let's listen, please. Tape script 8.3. Sorry, 8.3. Good evening, guys. Are you ready to order? I think we are. Tape script 8.2. So you have to Who's check a fussy with eater? to pull these bags. Oh, good. We have some tomatoes. Uh, sorry, Nick. I don't like them. Come on, Duncan. Tomatoes are good for you. I didn't like them much when I was a child, but I love them now. Hmm, I didn't like a lot of things when I was a kid. Ah, you were a fussy eater. What didn't you like? I didn't like any green vegetables. Did you like any vegetables at all? Only potatoes. I love chips. <laughs> what about fruit? Did you like fruit? I liked some fruit, but not all. I didn't like bananas. I liked fruit juice. I drank a lot of apple juice. And now you drink beer and wine. Yeah, and coffee. But I didn't like coffee or tea when I was a kid. So, what were your favourite foods? I liked ice cream, chocolate, crisps, biscuits, especially chocolate biscuits. Uh, you know, I liked all the usual things kids like. All the unhealthy things. I like pasta too. Pasta with tomato sauce. Oh, I love that. Tomato sauce? But you don't like tomatoes. Tomato sauce is different. Hey, let's not eat in tonight. Let's go out to Romano's. Romano's, a great idea. It's my favourite Italian restaurant. So the use of these expressions of quantity will be according to the type of the sentence. And we have uh, many times those sentences, the sentences that uh, are in negative, that is in negative, sorry, and the uh, sentences that are in uh, question. So, what about the use of some and any? Uh, we use any with the sentences uh, that uh, have two conditions, either negative or question. So with the question and negative we use any and with the other uh, cases we use some and a lot of also with the uh, uh, same uh, numbers. So you have to fill these blanks according to the conversation. Also we have uh, the ex uh, explanation. Uh, yes we have a grammar spot here. Read the sentences when do we use some and any uh, as uh, I said uh, before at the previous uh, exercise uh, there is some wine there isn't any beer is there any coffee so the use of any with the uh, negative uh, with a uh, question and target uh, in this uh, in these sentences sorry there are some tomatoes there aren't any apples are there any bananas so uh, here you have to know uh, that uh, some and any are used with uh, countable and uncountable so wine beer coffee and tomatoes apples bananas so uh, the use of some and any with countables, countable sorry, and uncountable nouns. مثل ما لاحظ إخوان العزاء الاستخدام للسام والاني اني تكون مع الجمل المنفية أو الاستفهامية والسام مع الجمل المثبتة. وكل التعبيرين أو كل الأداتين السام والاني تستخدم مع الجمل مع الأسماء المعدودة والغير معدودة. يعني تكون متبوعة باسم معدود أو غير معدود. Activity number three and the use of I like and I'd like. Uh, I'd like is the abbreviation of I would like. So uh, let's listen to tape script 8.3 and then we'll discuss uh, about the use of these expressions. So let's listen please. Tape script 8.3 Good evening, guys. Are you ready to order? I think we are. 
What would you like, Nick? Pasta, of course. I love pasta. I'd like the spaghetti bolognese. Uh, same for me, please. I really like spaghetti. Great. And would you like the wine list? No, thanks. Just a glass of red for me. Uh, would you like some wine, Nick? Yes, but I don't like red wine. I'd like a glass of dry white, if that's okay. That's fine. Oh, and can we have some water, too, please? Of course. Would you like sparkling or still? Just some tap water, thanks. No problem. Yes, uh, after listening to this uh, conversation uh, in the restaurant, uh, as you can uh, notice here, uh, the use of I like and I'd like. If you uh, use I like, that means you prefer uh, something, the preference, to show the preference. But when you use I'd like, that means you choose something, you want that thing. As in these uh, sentences in this uh, conversation, as you, uh, if you want to check uh, it once again, you have to listen it, uh, to it uh, more than once, and uh, you will uh, make a difference and you can recognize how to use these two expressions. Uh, the first one to uh, show the preference and the second one is to show the choose uh, the choice sorry you want to choose something I'd like but if you want to show the preference I like اخواني الاعزاء بالنسبة للمحادثة اللي استمعتوا لها استخدام I like و I'd like اللي هي would like بالنسبة لـ I like like تبين التفضيل تبين الـ الـ فد شيء مفضل أو محبب للشخص أفضل هذا الشيء أحب هذا الشيء لكن باستخدام I'd like هذا يعني بأنه أنا أريد هذا الشيء يعني أختاره مثل ما شفنا بالمحادثة من خلال الأشخاص دانكن ونيك بالمطعم يعني يفضل ويختار عند الاختيار I'd like عند التفضيل I like يحب أو يفضل عندنا exercise number four read the sentences are the sentences true or false correct the false ones in this exercise we have to check whether the sentences are correct or false and then try to correct the false and uh, number one, Duncan and Nick both order the same meal. So if it's uh, true, try to take. Uh, and if it's false, try to also uh, correct the uh, mistake or the false. Uh, so you have to check uh, these uh, or this exercise, this task with the conversation and try to uh, uh, do this task. In number five, uh, practice the conversation with a partner. Uh, grammar spot. We have a, a grammar spot uh, about the use of I like and I would like.